Hello everybody, welcome to my second round match up against Kellathorn with his All World Alliance with my uh, Dark Elves, of course. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to focus on playing the game, so find me a can take over right now. Um, calcium will turn up at some point, I'm assured. So um, yeah, um, enjoy the game. Thank you very much. Cheers! Hello everybody, here we are for another game of the World Cup. Jimmy, Team Fantastic, with his Dark Elves versus Skeletor and his All War Alliance. On paper, Dark Elves is a better team than All War Alliance, but All War Alliance get extra points in this format, so they get uh, more skills. That's why you'll see a lot of... Uh, people with skills, so at least they should get more skills. I think the Ogre has block, so which is always good. Jimmy with his uh, dodge guys and uh, block and uh, wrestle witches. And uh, here we go. Jimmy choose to uh, defend with his uh, players. He loves the color of his player. He loves the color of his players. And this game is going to be dedicated to the Galaxy, let me check, NGC4622, also known as the Backward Galaxy, which is very appropriate name for this uh, environment. It's part of the constellation of Centaurus, big hello to our viewers in Centaurus A, and uh, declination of minus 40 degrees, 44 minutes, 35 seconds, is a distance of 200 million light years and an apparent magnitude of 12.6. So I hope our viewers there, when they reach uh, there, you can, you know, they can leave a like and subscribe, maybe some uh, prime subs because how things are going, I guess, in 200 million years, if we're still alive, we'll still be working because there will be no pensions. Anyway, here comes the first block. Nothing. Now moves the guard around. Nice kick uh, there, very far away. Oh. KO, never 11 players, never Inst 11 players. Instant dicing, by the way. He wins the toss, he fucking makes an instant removal, and he's got a bribe, so he can foul me constantly as well. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Well, you also have a bribe, or at least it appears there in the top left. I'm not going to foul, my players are good and his are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the sneaky git is in the bench. Oh, armor break on the bridge with tackle. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do the the thingy for the gambling. Sorry, the predictions. Let me get in. minutes prediction zero options will jimmy defend the drive yes no and the third one if you are for ngc 4622 i want to say hello you know you can uh, put some points there and uh, here we are turn two things well under control right now for the All World Alliance. Mm. 
Man, that ogre with block is gonna be a problem uh, for Jimmy if he behaves. Oh, here comes the blitz. Nice, gets the pound, case of a push, he could have a second hit. Doesn't armor wreck. Over his spots, tries to, here comes the foul. Nothing. Terrible foul, I wouldn't have done it. And now Jimmy stands it down too. Which there are chances that will involve some uh, dodges, dice, rolls, a bleed, and the movement of pieces. That's it, that's it. I don't want to coach uh, Jim, so I'm just... Uh, now, if I remember correctly, are the dwarves from uh, All Wall Alliance the same as the regular dwarves? I mean, do, do they have block and tackle, or is the brawler and something else? Loner, Armbrand, and Brawler. Oof. But it costs more. Yeah, okay, makes perfect sense. Oh, this cool mean. The Jimmy Samin for a chain. There you go, chain made, chain started. Oh, and now... Double ones. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The main objective was achieved. And Jimmy, here comes, putting a lot of pressure on the ball. Yeah, for a start, the regular Rombier doesn't have loner. But, you know, it's all Wall Alliance. Is this uh, combined teams are always uh, doing things like that, you know, mixing uh, players of different races and making them more expensive or with loner or both. Oh, here comes the Dodge. Yeah. Rolls all the dice, and now there is a lot of elves in front of the ball. Oh, most of the people predict that Jimmy will be able to defend the drive. So you put some points on uh, Jimmy losing. Uh, you can get some uh, channel points. And be despised for it. Jimmy losing a player there. Yes, yeah, Jimmy was in the was in the KO, yes. And now uh, the thing is it's only a KO, ten play one player down, but at least when you're in the offensive, the fact that the attacking player has to invest a lot of players covering spaces and all those blitz with tackle. Nothing. This could be a roll. Use the roll. Guess the power. Jesus, that was the quickest set of dice I've ever seen. Doesn't break armor. Ooh. Hello, Dimi. Yeah, Dimi. Yeah. And here comes the foul, taking advantage of the ride. Just a stand. Pretty important the fact that Jimmy doesn't have an apple. Mm. 
Jimmy thinking now, probably considering uh, the squares and the tees. Doesn't do it, just go straight for the... Wait, wait a second. Oh, this looks one of these safe moves first situation. I think uh, we could uh, say that the ogre, the ogre is gonna be a uh, oh, beautiful. Isolators from the rest of the team. Can't blame the the ogre after all. He's in his right position. It's the rest of the team that just moved to the side. Two dice block. Gets the push. Good enough. Jimmy considering uh, what to do there. He counting the players. Is worth it uh, putting that guy there behind. He thinks he does, and I agree. That player there makes the fact that if he wants to change the uh, Kellerthorn wants to change size or go back to the middle, it's gonna be a little more difficult. Now some players are gonna get punched. That's the Ooh. another KO. That tackle piece. Fucking dangerous, two chaos. Kelethorn has to do the rest of his turn. Probably aiming to move the ball down. Well, this is a festival of armor breaks for the Dark Hells. Keep, keep it stuff. I think the white in the armor is just a toilet paper. Here comes the bleed with the wrestler. Double push. Not the result that he wanted. Easy. Yeah, two chaos. Dimi G and Gorilla Mezzo. Tragedy. And now he's probably Kellerson is thinking, should I activate the ogre? Question is, uh, Jimmy has enough uh, Dutch players that switching is more complicated than what it seems. Also, he can move very far anyway. The ogre fails. Bonehead. We all knew it. We all knew it. And that makes things much harder for Kelethor trying to keep a shape here. Holy shit, dodge with the dwarf. 
Pues las a Blitzer, subimos a triplas, ok. Now Jimmy enters Stanford. And Jimmy is thinking, can I surf something? Does one guard down? Jimmy is still thinking, can I surf something? I mean, there is, there is, obviously there are pieces, two squares, one square next to the side, but <laughs> being able to serve and making a serve are two different things. We can see the ogre in the middle of the pitch with a big uh, question mark on his uh, head, probably thinking about the whole life in NGC 4622. Okay, makes the dodge, makes the dodge again. And now here we go. Big question, only two rerolls left in the skull. Or be greedy. Jimmy enters the time bank. I think being two players down, greeting it could be an option. I mean, he's been waiting so long that he's just the skull. He's gonna be, he could be a dead player. Gris is gets the first push and gets the second one. And now the crowd speak his voice, their voice. Okay, I mean, Jesus. All right, all right. That witch was doomed to lay on that square. It was fate, it was fate. Okay, activates. Oh, but, hey, block on five mir, nothing. Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, you know, as so, all you know. As so, you know, I already won the Sicil Cup as a player, so I know how to behave in the pitch. I always smell the potato. The potato, the magic of the potato is always there. Now, the advantage for that witch being on the floor. There is a pro that she has jump up. There is a con she can get foul. But in that case, falling to the ground, not breaking armor is perfectly fine because she can just get up and uh, activate and all that. Okay, this this is looking like uh, someone is going to try to go down the pitch.
And this feels like Kellethorn thought about doing the handoff. And there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, oh my god, that's a fast boy there. Follow away and not so fast the troll slayer. That's a catcher. So has a blotch. Oh, he doesn't have block, is as far as I remember. Kicking the fucking kick in the face. And now things get really interesting. Now the witch gets up like nothing happens, jump up. Free sharp. Oh, not the result that Jimmy was exactly looking for, but we'll have to do. In any case, that dwarf is out for the drive. And the Blitzer will have remained in the square anyway, so... Here comes Blitz Blitz. Gets a massive pow. Oh my god, just in the nut! Armor break! Oh, Dimi! Hello! 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 I thought I'd jump in because Kaz is not here. <laughs> yeah, 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 Kaz is a little late. Doesn't matter. I probably he didn't read that uh, we were starting early. Also, Jimmy put the, the what the. Oh, Jimmy the started idea early. Of playing earlier. Oh, did Jimmy, did Jimmy suggest playing early? Uh, Jimmy was supposed to start at half past two, but his opponent asked him if he could start at oh, quarter so past two, and Jimmy agreed. So Jimmy fell for the play now. That's a terrible play. Well, I mean, uh, you have to be a nice guy sometimes, Jimmy. Jimmy. Big, big one that hits. Doesn't die. And now, Kelethon star star six. One in nine dodge. One in nine dodge, yeah, yeah, it's always an option. It's the only option, he has to score, I think. He can't run back. Don't, don't give me coaching advice, Dimi, this is oh, the World sorry. Cup. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, I, don't think, I don't think he can put many of his players around. I mean, in any case, he has to move the catcher because right there, right there, is a 2D uh, sharp. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so, yeah, that catcher will have to move. I think he's just going to blitz this blitz on. And then we're going to... And then try to score, yeah. Yeah, massive, massive dodge. Oh, it doesn't get the knockdown. I mean, I think Jim will be happy with three turns, right? <clears throat> Run to the right and cage. With which players? I think you'll be even happier if he fails to dodge. Oh! Oh! Oof. He scores. Jimmy. Gets three turns. Now, for the prediction, if Jimmy managed to score 1-1, one, one, I'm going to consider it that he defended the drive. Yeah. Because it will be exactly the same as a nil-nil. Oh, the prediction was with he defend. Mm, I don't know, that's a tough one. I mean, Dark Elf should be alright for a free turn, right? Did he get a KO back? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, he didn't. Did he fail both his KOs? Well, or can I just not count? 
I can see the bottom. I, I, th yeah, I yeah. think I see one. There's one KO. I don't know if there's a second one, two, three, four, five. No, no, he has 11. He has 11. Yeah, he got one back. Oh, yeah, it says there, I failed the KO run. <laughs> nice. Right. Okay, I'll go with uh, I'll go with Pablo. He's right. He didn't defend. So let me check predictions. Chao Shotcom, no. Now let's start another one. Jimmy's looking like he's never set up for a free turn before. A quick one, five minutes. Will Jimmy score? Well, Barney, that's the thing. One thing is the Jimmy between Jimmy being knockout and normal Jimmy, there is barely any difference. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It looks like he's going to try and go through the middle. Solid defense. Oh, oh that's solid funny. defense. That's painful. Fire. But, but we have seen in the past people are making big mistakes in solid defenses. I think the way Jimmy's set up though makes it easier for Kellerthorn because he. <laughs> it looks like it looks like Jimmy's doing a certain thing. <clears throat> oh, very defensive. Wait, no, he has a... Uh, okay, he has put the guard behind the... Yeah. The business, so now the witch has... Uh, yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. Must be, it must be nice not to be dice in the World Cup, but uh, I don't think that was a good decision by him, so that's, uh, maybe I should stop crying. <laughs> yeah, stop crying, Jim. You big baby. Yeah, Jimmy, for God's sake, come on, go back to your um, play. Yeah, I think... I. That perfect defense was um, suboptimal. As I said, sometimes uh, people. Uh... Oh, that's the worst result. That is the worst result. Oh, yes, because uh, that the yeah. door closed there. I think that was a small mistake from Jim because he assisted the block, like from the wrong square if he assisted the block from one square down with yes the he down, would have moved there and it would be an open place there i understand where he did it because if he gets the pow you're knocking the guy out the way and he's still based whereas if you assist from the other square and you pow then he's he's not well he might be based on the blodger in the middle but i mean jim has the luxury of three turns so he didn't have to get through this turn uh, and been... elves are uh... oh he's gonna jump over oh the big play the big play i mean it's better than going through the uh tackle guy right so it's uh oh rolls a two rolls a two absolute skill absolute... jump over was also a two plus so uh... now deciding which square everybody jump Hmm. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think he is jumping everyone. The ball, oh, the ball is fine. Oh, no. And this is, this is the issue with the re-roll on the surf, right? Oh, and the armor breaks. Because he only had the one, he only had the two rerolls. So when he rerolled the surf, I mean, knocking the guard off was good. But only having one, if he had two rerolls there, I think he rerolls that. Um, but with one reroll, you can't. And now, now it's, now it's honestly, well, and he just blitz the bludger with the wrestle, I guess. And then still got another turn though. Still got another turn. So it's it's not. In yes. fact, he still has two turns. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, 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 I mean, he's got another turn to get into range. 
It's not like he's only got the one scoring for it, which would be a disaster. Um, so I'd still be. Uh, wouldn't say confident. <laughs> I would say like semi okay with this. No pow, that's big. No pow. Massive is really... cool. We are all invested here. Do we... No, you can't reroll this. Can't reroll this. And the thing is, is, you have to take the push because if you don't, then it's just a two plus dodge out for him. The power. Take the power this time. Yeah. So is that, that's a lino. So it's going to be a 1D down the side. Probably something like that. Yeah, 2D the ones, yeah. is the pow. Mmm. It's not easy for Jim. Got a little bit uh, harder. Seriously hard. Gone is Gorilla Mezzo. Oh. Oh. Ooh, makes the dodge. What a tease. What an absolute tease. I know this is sounding mental, but I like the halfling there. Well, he's not there anymore. Yeah. I, now he's I, at the other place. I think I would have left the halfling there. Like, Oh, that's a catcher. And he gets the full pal. And oh the my god. And the oh my god, that kick to the face. Yeah, and if he left the halfling there, it doesn't happen. And does. the apple juice. He's good, he's good. So Jim's now got a scoring threat. So that's job number one ticked off. He, he has a... The more or less easy way to get more players down there. Oh, don't, don't say easy pay me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't jinx him. <laughs> oh, that is... What is that? That is not good. That is not good. Oh, he's no, nah, he hasn't blitzed yet, I guess. So. He still has the blitz, uh, Dini. He still has the blitz. Oh, what we, are we 1D in this? Oh, my. Whoa. Big roll. Big push. Big push. Huge push. Can't really. There's. There's. there's Really? Hmm. Mountain squares all over the place. Gotta roll loads of dice this turn, I think. There's still quite a lot of dice to roll. As in the catcher was pretty big. Gets the apo down. He doesn't forget armbar. Okay, Barney the Lurker, tell our viewers all over the universe, what does armbar? Uh, so if you fail a dodge away from armbar, it adds plus one to the armor roll. There you go. Oof. So you're more likely to... Um, get catch. Yeah, get hurt. It's like mighty blow from failing dodges away from it. It's garbage. <laughs> In the, like, I, I mean... It's it's worse for like low AV teams like Woodies and stuff, but it yeah like considering like tackle is just better, right? And that's what dwarves had um, before they made the OWA dwarves, which meant they couldn't reroll dodges. Um, armbar, you can still reroll your dodge. I mean, it it will come up, but like so rarely. Like you don't have to play around it really. Whereas with tackle, you you do kind of have to play around it. Hmm, <laughs> this is, this is, oh, I see, to say the least, that's pretty fantastic. That's a hmm. really good job there, and now Jimmy has a lot of scoring threats. 
trying to see if he can make this 2D. The annoying thing for him is... It, oh, no, no, no. He just moves the halfling out. Oh, I should have Oh, my God, I'm thing. dead. Are you dead? Was that you? Famous. That was me. Oh, my Famer. God. No, my dreams of winning. The... Wait, 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 wait. It's a resurrection for my... Resurrection for my... <laughs> right, okay, right. now, now I can be in the booth full time. You know, I was getting tired of being on the pitch and coming here to the booth all the time. Yeah. No, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Resurrection format. Resurrection format. So, I know why... World champion I still on the cards. World champion. Fucking over. So... Imagine I mean, not being dice in the World Cup, eh? It wouldn't be me. Russell. Jump up, still scoring for it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can only see one play here. I don't know. We'll see if he goes for it. <clears throat> nice to be rolled. Yeah, yeah, Cosmopolitan and Tofu Calethor. Having to think really well what's going to be his options here. Oh, that's not what I would have done. I mean, it works. It's still okay. Ah, oh, that's to block the witch. That's not too bad. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four. Question is, is who, who does he do this with? I think... For me, there's only... Yeah. Oh, there you go, the tackler. I would have picked the tackler too. And I would have been mistaken. Very yeah. mistaken. I was going to go wrestler, but... <laughs> it looks yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, it was the two options yeah. that were there, you know? The two options were... Because uh, I like the wrestler, because... But I prefer the tackler because he's... You face yeah, the yeah, yeah, tackle yeah. on the piece. Well, you're more likely to power him, right? And then if you power him, you put him on the sideline, ball scatters out. So, yeah, the tackler was probably better. I, I just originally thought wrestle for some reason, but I think the tackler was correct. I think in my head, you had to keep the tackle there to cancel the assist, but you didn't at all. Dan, 8 for Jimmy. One reroll left. So can he do anything about getting this tackler off? Is it worth I guess it I don't know. <laughs> One has he got GFI? He's got yeah, he's got GFI. One reroll. So he's going for the dodge. Yeah. Makes the dodge. There's the pow. The the circles around the players, the colored circles, the dark colors, the white ones, the small circles uh, closer to the player. White ones are lin linos, yellow blitzers, purple witches. For the alliance, well, dwarves are dwarves. Jello is the Blitzer Dwarf, I think. And Jimmy managed to score. Well, Niaga, he said that he wouldn't dodge with the ball carrier, obviously to take his opponents by surprise when he dodged with the ball carrier. Will Jimmy score? And the answer was a very tight 52-48. Uh, but the yes with 52%, we're right. Now let's make a prediction for the...
three options now. Ten minutes. What will be the final result? Solid defense again. Jesus Christ. We have a Dark Elves glorious win. All Wall Alliance epic win or a boring tie. The galaxies, the universe is uh, watching this. 1-1. One, one. Jimmy's two players. Uh, two. One player down. And he's doing a DACA. What a surprise. What absolutely unexpected turn of events for the... For the viewers and the fans of the channel. Goes for the pickup. Gets the pickup with a two. Elven Supremacy. Now, Kelethon, seeing that set up by Jim, could have guessed that it's going to be a duck and maybe could have put the players closer. Oh, true, he doesn't like Dakas. Well, true, the issue here is like Jimmy loves Dakas. And this all wall alliance team only has one tackle. Which makes the breaking through more easy for uh, obvious reasons. Anti Blood Ball? I don't think it's uh, that guy is anti Blood Ball. It's just a strategy all last time making uh, better. I mean, since the dawn of time, you know, teams, the agility teams have run away. This is running away, done better. Now, the question that people, you know, when you're a defender and you're against Ataka, you know, Keep things, uh, don't take risks or take risks. Okay, okay, Morituri, salutat in Caesar. I respect that because Caesar is my real name, so good, good. You can salute me before you die anytime. But feel like poor Blood Bowl with demonstrate skill and understanding of the game. That doesn't go with Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl is based in uh, mistakes and not understanding the rules. That's how championships have been won. Oh, gets the pow. Doesn't break armor. Now, coming to the idea and the, or the DACA, how to do it, yes, yes, I'll put that a uh, high level of uh, Blood Bowl knowledge, being able to design this uh, play. Now, doing the DACA, different. Especially in low TV formats where, uh, you know, It's very bread and butter what you do, where to go, and all that. It's still very difficult to pull off, but I'd say probably as difficult as getting a regular uh, touchdown with the difference that the DACA you risk less damage to your team. But the scoring in Blood Bowl is hard. Don't you agree, Dimi? Fucking Dimi is in outer space. Dimi, are you pointing to your phone? To NGC, uh, 
NGC 4622. Get it right, eh? They need to get the, the game in 200 million years. The light has to travel there. The data have to uh, arrive there. Oh! Okay, here comes the troll slayer with frenzy. Oh, and he gets the sharp. Just a stun. Demi G this time, uh, just a stun. Classic, classic. Demi, Demi getting the sharp, so he has to play less. Without Jimmy's turn to move his pieces around the board. Counting the squares, trying to create the spaces. And now Jimmy is joined the booth again. He left for a few seconds and now he's back. Can you hear me? And now we can hear you. Oh, okay, yeah, I disappeared. It was all this anti daca talking chat, it made me angry, so I had to step outside. Ah, good, 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 of course, of course. Did you check if the satellite dish is pointing to the right galaxy? Yeah. I've got new new internet, which is really, really fast. I've never had fast internet before. Uh, I wish I could say the same, but my internet is uh, still the same old broadband. And they were a company willing to put here, you know, full uh, optic Wipe fiber. Up. Yeah, uh, that's One of the neighbors, one, one of my neighbors, the residents in my uh, postcode, seems to be one of these crazy jackers and thinks that the uh, oh, gives yeah. you cancer or whatever it is. And he says that they come to put it on, she's going to, you know, burn down the things. Oh my God. So I'm trying to talk with other neighbors to, so they can contact the administration company to see what the hell is going on. Or, yeah. I think it's absolutely astonishing that one one person can say that she doesn't want it and nobody gets it. Yeah, Fucking yeah. Mental. I got I got full fiber like two weeks ago, and uh, oh my god, it's incredible. I want it for obvious reason. They're getting the and also because when I stream, I could also stream on you know. YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever. And yes, because I want more space, for God's sake. I use the computer to work. Yeah. This is a huge turn. Huge turn, huge turn here for Kelethon. This is going to define the mm. rest of his life, probably. Maybe. What was um, Kelly Fawn's result in his first game? Do you, know, do you know? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure someone in chat will uh, do. Because Jimmy drew his first game, didn't he? And then yes. He... he needs to win. Right. Oh, you think Kelly Fawn won? So I guess the pal. Oh, oh my god. My god. Dead, dead, dead. Who is that? Who is that? That was Calcium Cash. Calcium seriously hard. Oh my god. Calcium. Every, now, every, oh my god. Morning. He couldn't come to the booth because he had to play. He doesn't uh, have good cardio. He can you know, run from the booth to the pitch and back. Is, is Calcium lost the against the Orcs? Oh, he lost against well, the Orcs. That equity shift there, more or less, is the equivalent of the continent, continental drift that created an ice age millions of years ago. 
<laughs> targeting the commentators. He is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking Kelethor, you know? <laughs> Come on, mate. There's so many animosity here. Oh my god, he's throwing the flame. This was not the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? Is this guy on crack or what? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Holy it's shit! It's not bad enough that I'm getting diced. He's a fucking lunatic. What the fuck did he just do? Oh my god. And it worked. <laughs> kind of. He worked. He worked. What a play, guys. What a play. Jesus. I have to say, Christ. I have to say, many people will check the odds of that happening, the numbers, it what made sense or not. But I might respect a guy that throws a halfling like that. You have to respect the lunacy. Now, Jimmy counter us with an armor break. Now. I have to say it. That the the halfling is gone. The blitzer is still there. That was amazing. That was amazing. That, that was yeah. amazing. That, 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 that was the play that, of the tournament. Clip, that's a clip right there. Someone clip that. Someone Absolute clip that, please. Tournament. Absolutely high. Absolutely. And amazingly, right. like, it's really slowed down Jimmy because I'm sure that was the turn that he was going to go through and then because the ball's on the floor, he's had to switch up his play. It's almost like a wizard, isn't it? The uh, throwing a halfling. Yes, yes, yes. It's like uh, the wizard. Just as well, powerful. in total, Jimmy has lost uh, because now he has to pick up the ball. Oh, has my God. Sports of movement. Yeah, so I think, I think we're just witch picks in there. What turn are we on? 13. Whoa, it's I'm getting tight it as well. It's getting tight, it's getting tight. There is no overtime as I was educated. No, 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 overtime in the group stage, yeah. But Jimmy needs to win to have a chance. Does it? I think, I mean, obviously he wants to win. Um, he I said think... before the game that he basically needs to win. He does, like, basically does. I, I think if he doesn't win, it's not mathematically. I don't think it's like doom and gloom completely over. But if he doesn't win, it's obviously going to be very. To the into to the double skulls. Oh my god! My god! My god! I can feel uh, Jimmy hitting the table with his head. I can feel the tremors here in Edinburgh rolls. I think he had to, like, he, yeah, he looked like yeah, he, yeah, he had to. He had and to. I was like, no, nah, you can't. This is the issue with the Dakar. It's like, you, you just have to put the dice in sometimes. Oh, I forgot. He doesn't, he's, that was a blodger, so he doesn't even get the knockdown. Oh, that's horrendous. Plus the reroll. And now it's time for the Old War Alliance. He's really going to struggle to get forward here. Oh, if Jimmy draws, he has to be the Orcs next week, and that's a tall order. I mean, Orcs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a tall order, yeah. Yeah, yeah Orcs, so uh, iffy. Now, if you are asking me what was the equity shift of that, uh, oh, against the Witch. Hey, <laughs> Panet, oh my god, it's pretty tight chat. At least he's out of flings. You, you are right, you are right. You are right, that makes the one turn uh, Jimmy scores, the one turn for the... No, he has another fling. No. No armor break. Oh, that's big, that's big. Mm. Okay, let me... Oh! That, that's crumbling. interesting. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh man. Okay, yo. 
I don't imagine, know. Imagine not a blo- a, Do you know what? Honestly, this Orwell Lions team have more fucking mighty blow than bloody Mr. Page had. What the fuck is this stupid shithead game? Honestly, what a joke. And here comes the foul, and this could oh. be really, really big. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. He has a right. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I respect it. It's just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure with the ogre that was the right thing to do. I have to agree with you. Now we can uh, see a hole. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say gaping, but what, what's like close to gaping that's not gaping? I but, don't know. We're talking in galaxies uh, now. Uh, 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 bigger, bigger than anything wide. Anything can be gaping. Big, bigger than wide, but not gaping. Uh. <laughs> Ample burger. A yawning hole. <laughs> what? A yawning hole. That's that's all right. That's all right. Oh. One, two, three. Give me checking. Uh, what's gonna be the the best direction to go? Mm. Now the halfing throws. or I forget about that. They could see that they you know in the first. One was like the tectonic shift that created an ice age on land. That was like the one that the change in the weather that created, made the Earth be frozen for hundreds of millions of years. Did you know, Jimmy, the, uh, Jimmy that the Earth was frozen, like completely frozen for around 200 million years? Really? Yep. I didn't know that, no. Mm. A snowball earth. It's called that period. I was watching a documentary about earth uh, like the other day before uh, going to sleep. Do they know? Do they know how old Earth is, or are they just guessing? Oh, they, no, no, they are more or less uh, very certain around millions of years up and down when they happen. <laughs> I mean, it's been, the Earth has been here for billions of years, you know, missing so, for... <laughs> so we've been a million years of it. Why, why do they call it the year 2000? Like, why is it 2024 when, like, the Earth is billions of years old? Because we had to start at some point, Jimmy, and the, the, the yeah. calendar is the, the one that people have been using for uh, thousands of years. Yeah, so it kind of Year feels zero like... marked by the birth of Christ. Is it? Is it? Was it the birth of Christ, or was it? Yeah, the... that's the one we use here. The Chinese have another uh, calendar, obviously, that they are like uh, four uh, in the year four thousand or something like that. Islam also has another one, and the Indians have another one. Well, nearly everyone, nearly everyone has their own calendar. Right. And our Christian calendar is different than the Orthodox Christian calendar. What I don't get is why do Americans put the month before the date? Because they are crazy. They use the imperial system for everything except uh, drugs which are in grams and bullets which are in <laughs> millimeters <laughs> oh i love it yeah i think jimmy's played this turn very interestingly i think he's just holding on for the draw now like that's that's it really he's not gonna can't do anything else dimmy when you get dice to absolute fuck every fucking Fucking turn, what an absolute fucking shit fucking non-game. Luckily, all world lines are complete turd and hopefully I can still get a draw, but Jesus Christ, what a joke. <laughs> Why didn't you uh, hand off to the Blitzer and just run away? Or just potato and lose, yeah, that seems a good idea. 
Well, it seems that it's going to be everything decided in the last game. Still, things are going to happen here. Jesus, that the tackle the Blitzer have been doing the Lord's work. I am. Um, I might be. I might sound crazy here, but I I saw something where they reckon there it, there could be a ninth planet in the solar system, and we just don't know it's there yet because of certain. Asteroids and stuff have like weird gravitational. Yeah, orbit. there's there's always a thing that it could be another planet or another thing creating a gravity. Yeah, yeah. Thing that yeah, yeah. We had nine. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went to eight when we lost Pluto. Yeah, yeah. Pluto, never forgotten. Yeah, poor Pluto. I, mate, how mad is that, right? Because when I was a skid, when I was a skid, when <laughs> when I was a kid in school, like we had nine planets, right? And then, like, now my kids like learning, and we got eight planets, and like something that was like so talked to us, like factual, that there's nine planets, and we just agreed with it. Like, think of the stuff they're teaching kids now that they just agree with. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy, when I went oh, when I went to a school, the Soviet Union was still there, so geography was much easier because uh, uh, the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia were still there. Now kids have to learn so many new countries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, wait, it's, there's, yeah, I, to be fair, I don't know where hardly any countries are, to be honest. Look, the death of Harambe. And losing Pluto as a planet? No. Oh my god. Oh, it's <laughs> made it. Oof. Did you, um, did you see... Clearly they... have half an effect on history. Did you see Hey Mayer do that weird thing with like the African countries where you have to plan a journey or something? Oh it yeah, just, yeah, it just yeah. made me realise that I don't know where any African countries are at all. Oh, this is. Uh, hmm. Now the question is. Does Pluto knows that he's not a planet anymore? Has the information <laughs> reached the planet there? You know, because uh, Isn't, light uh, travels very fast, but the uh, radio waves travel much slower, you know? So yeah, the ship hasn't it's... arrived with the newspaper, you know? Pluto could be there. Yeah, come on, boy. Hey, solar system. Woo Isn't Pluto the dog out of Disney? Or is that... No, it's about the god of the underworld. Hades. Pluto in the Oh yeah, Roman. yeah. That, that's the other thing that I learned that all the days are named after planets. Like yes, black, people yeah. show the planets and give them Monday, God's names. Monday is moon, moon day obviously. Sunday right. is obviously the Sunday. And then Tuesday Tuesday is something to do with uh, Mars, I think, because in yes, Roman... because in Spanish and Latin oh, it's Spanish. Mantis, like yeah, Mantis. yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, Wednesday was something to do with Jupiter, I think, or was it? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, they're, like they're all the days of the week are named after planets, and that's why in we have uh, to... Latin no, 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 they're not. In... No, 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 they are, Jim. They no, are, no. and it's Thursday is have... Thor. Wood, yeah, Wednesday yeah, is Wolden's Day. Jimmy's talking about the Latin. Friday the Latin, is Freak's uh, Day. Yeah, yeah, but like they named like because they named the planets different stuff back then, Jim, in Roman times. Yes, but that's why that's all why the, the names week were in Roman and in Spanish, in Spanish, for example, and Italian and French, I think, are like as, as the Jimmy said. But here in the UK, the Tuesday you have Thor, Wednesday. Uh, the, the Roman Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, no. Thursday is Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday is uh, Wotan. For Wotan, for Odin. Friday is for Freya. What's it called? The Germans call Wednesday Mittwoch. <laughs> Just for midweek. So, you know, that's not really named after anything for them, is it? Yeah, yeah. And in, in, in Portuguese it's First day of the week, second day of the week, third day of the week, fourth day of the week, <laughs> five day of the week, Saturday and Sunday. Nice. Oh my god, what a fucking joke of a game this is. Yes, Domingo, Dominus Day, there you go, Trogo, but the absolute English is Sunday, which is the day of the sun. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all a mess of that, more or less. People uh, they're tied in there, you know, rolling dice. It's like the Blood Bowl tournaments. Every single time you go a Blood Bowl tournament, there is different rules. Same with the days of the week. Yeah. We all agree there are seven, but how you name them and why change, but there are seven. I'd like to invent a time machine to go back to when they decided there were seven days and then blag it so there was only five days. So we'd only have to work three days and then we get a weekend. All right, uh, oh the, my God, everything is a uh, tragedy here in the Blue Bowl Beach. Well, uh, Jimmy, you will need to travel. Uh, to you want to change the calendar? We have uh, now more. Or you will have to travel to Rome and uh, talk with Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Yes, that's one of the guys that. Uh, or the, 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 the calendar to be made. Oh, this is fucking god. There's a chance to lose. Like, this is the easiest game I could have had fucking all of the <laughs> lions, and they just cast everything he fucking touched. Oh, god. Arm bar is okay. What a fucking joke. It's the, the way I could, the only way I could lose. Literally, the only way I could lose is just taking insane cars, and obviously that's what happened. Oh, mate, the halfling getting thrown at your ball carry. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, why not? That was, like, the only thing that didn't work for him, wasn't it? It's hilarious. It was so hilarious. Was like, what's he doing? And then he, he just he was, absolutely he was, nailed the ball carry. <laughs> it was a thing of beauty. It was so a like, thing of beauty. If he, if he throws teammate, and it's an accurate pass it doesn't just hit the ball carrier does it does it still scatter no it always scatters you get a plus one to land if it was and an spp if but then it was does that mean that he rolled three scatters and it well we don't know if he threw it i don't know where he game. aimed it, yeah. you're more likely to hit one of the adjacent ones than where you aim so, so if you wanted to hit the ball you should have thrown adjacent yeah Oh my god, that that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been better to just stand in the corner, right? But I would have stood in the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you were going to surf him, like, and then obviously just stand there, so then it's fine. But yeah, then this is nine. this is better then. Yeah. If this is better, if you don't want in nine. Well, this is. Or if yeah, you pound the first hit. It's better because it's not a four plus dodging. So. Oh no, it'll be a 5 plus dodge in, wouldn't it? Yeah, four, 5 plus dodge in. So this is a 6 plus dodge in. Yeah. I mean, it's still alright, because that's something. I mean, maybe that's the uphill or something. Yeah, maybe I should have just. Maybe I should have just uh, gone in the corner, tried to surf, and then dodge out that line. Then. I don't know. Mm. But he wishes he had a halfling to just dodge in. <laughs> <laughs> and fail and do it easily. But he oh, doesn't. mate, the halfling was hilarious. He had a bribe and sneaky gear and fouled once without sneaky gear. No, he fouled, he fouled a few times. Oh, he fouled in the first time, he fouled a lot, yes. Was the um, bribe the first kickoff event? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God, awful. Yeah, and then he got solid defense, both of his. Yeah. Oh, and just removed everything he touched. Oh God, fucking hate blood ball sometimes. Don't worry, Jim. I still love you. Thanks. Yeah, Jimmy, Chad is here for you. I've just got to win the last game versus Tumish, <laughs> who oh, probably you know. Com confidence, Jimmy. He's already on three. He he might have already qualified, right, if he beats Trick. Uh, Trick's pretty good, though, so Trick could win or draw, and then it could all be messy, but two draws is horrible, and it could be a draw and a loss. It's very likely a draw and a loss. Is. I guess, I guess you want the Orcs to beat Trick, and then you want to beat the Orcs, right? Is that yeah, not easy? Yeah, because he's got nothing to play for then, yeah. 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 That's, that's the best. That's the easiest way for me, is the, is the Orcs beat the Undead then. But then, you know, and then he's got nothing to play for, and then he just lets me win. That would be the best thing. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> yeah, let me win, please. But I think, 
if he's already qualified, he's more likely to draw, right? Because he's not going to go for a win. Like, the thing is, Kelethorn yeah. basically had... We both had to win this, so Kelethorn had to go for the win. So he basically had... I mean, obviously, the way the drive panned out, he had to score early. But he kind of wanted to score early anyway. So, like, I really just wanted to receive. So I had 11 players in my DACA, easily score yeah. my DACA, easily score my offence, stall it out. Then he has to score early and lose. That was the plan. But, of course, uh, he didn't do any of that. He just, uh, he just won the toss, killed everything. The only chance he's got in it because he's fucking all alliance and it all worked through. Here we go. Annoying that somebody chose World Alliance, All World Alliance, and beat me. He hasn't beaten you yet. <sighs> yet. <laughs> yet. Well, he's got a he's got a free blitz. I mean, the ball could go up this way, couldn't it? If the ball goes up this way, I'm probably yeah, all right. Should. It follows us. Okay, he's caught. It's a draw. Yeah. It's a draw. It's official. It feels well like played. a loss. <laughs> well played, that Dark Elf. Yeah, yeah, the Dark Fame. Elf coach was brilliant. Fame um, is dead to me. Fame is dead. Yeah, I know. Honestly, uh, Calathorn didn't do anything my, wrong. All my guys, don't worry. Don't Calathorn worry. didn't really do anything wrong apart from, like, he did one misposition, right? And, but apart from that, he played fine. Like, I obviously no, uh, no hard feelings towards him. It's just stupid that the only way all the Lions can beat me is, is like this. And that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, chance, uh, the chance he had, and uh, it worked. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, uh, for our viewers, and especially all the ladies out there, including the ones in NG, NGC four six two two evolution, <laughs> in many ways. And I'm not judgmental. I'm still available. Yeah. <laughs> uh, classic, classic football three here. Shut up, Jim. Yeah, no, it's, it's just I'm almost out, aren't it, with two draws. Um. So I'm not very happy. It, it's really, it's really annoying. Like both games, I should have won, right? Like um, the uh, the previous one, I snaked both times. I dodged with the ball carrier, and then this one, he just banged out half my team. <laughs> <laughs> and he threw a halfling at the ball. <laughs> yeah, it worked, kind of. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, that was amazing. All right, you'll get it, Jim. You'll get it done, Jim. Five cars, four KOs. Insane. Insane. Anyway, um, yeah, obviously nothing nothing against California whatsoever. It's, you know, I'm not, not pissed off at the opponent, just the dice. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that was a dicing. The trick game wasn't a dicing, you know, because like, I, got, I got the kick and the... And the uh, event. Kick-off event, yeah. And then and I just rolled two really bad dice with the ball. They were both really shockingly unlucky, but um, to fail both of them, I think if I hadn't failed one of them, I would have won. And then this, it was just, it was just the ridiculous amount of bangouts. Absolutely insane. Oh, and then Olivier Dulac got the um, MVP as well. Mm. And you know, I didn't get the seventy-five percent. I guess, I, I guess on that breakthrough turn, I should have done the one D because even a push would have been good enough. Um, but I wanted yeah, to do yeah, the two D. Yeah. I wanted to do the two D to not turn over, right? Because I just didn't want to lose. I didn't want to. Honestly, I just didn't mate, want to I lose. thought you were just going to run back, hand off to the other blodger, run straight past the ogre, and double GFI, and then you're just like out it's of range. That's not far right? enough. That's not far enough to well, score, it's though, far, Jimmy. It's yeah, not far enough to. I had to go diagonal. Like but I had to go diagonal and win. I wanted to win, so I was playing to win, not draw at that point with that blitz. No, no, no. This was the turn that you conceded the win, and you. Yes, yes. That's why, because going your way, I can't get forward far enough. You could. I couldn't. I could not. I could not. I could not. I knew I could not. You had three turns. You had three turns. I, I could not get forward enough to me. I, I could not. I'm telling you, I could not get forward far enough. I'm absolutely telling you. Yeah, the one D for the push. The problem is, I'm much more likely to use my reroll. But then I guess, and I have to rush as well to score. This is the problem, right? So I don't. I don't want to be without my reroll. But then I guess being without the chance. It was tough. Uh, the the one D. The 1D was really good, it was really good, but it was too fucking hard, it just... I thought it's still 75% to get the knockdown, right? At the end of the day, the success is better if I pow. The 75%, the, the success is better than the 83% than the of doing the 1D, and then I'm much more likely to have my reroll um, to do the rushes 
afterwards, which I still had to do. It was, it was so hard, but I, it was definitely the right plate to go up diagonally. I couldn't go around the yoga the bottom way. That was, it was that was yeah, impossible. yeah, yeah. After the foul, that like, was impossible. I thought the foul was bad on the witch because that opened up the path through the middle, like and the left. Mm. Yeah. Like positionally, I think the foul was incorrect, and then he cast the witch, and it turned out all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You didn't foul the guy next to the yoga, did you? So that was the one. Yeah. Anyway. You could have just dodged past the troll slayer. I could. I couldn't score if I did that, Dimmy. Go and watch the replay. We, well, let's watch the replay and prove Dimmy right. Right, right I'll show you because it's like you got like I'm. I'm talking about you hand off to the blitz the behind you. <laughs> and then full potato to the left. Who's further Who's further behind? Yeah, 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 you hand off to that blitzer. Okay, guys, I have to leave you now. Oh, good okay. Bye, Goodbye, family. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to uh, wait to see if uh, Dim is right or not. I'm always right. Baby. The whole galaxies are watching this. Yeah, so you hand off to that blitzer on the back left, that one, yeah, and then you just go straight through that gap between oh, yeah. the Charles there and the Ogre yeah. and the double gear fire. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Yeah, yeah. okay, that, yeah. Easily yeah. in range. Yeah, yeah. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then blitz with that. Yeah, yeah, that's right, isn't it? This one goes there. This guy blitzes him, pushes him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then up to tag him. Yeah. And then the hand off, double rush, and yeah. then I've got still got the problem with the tackler. Yeah. Whereas, whereas my way was uh, was blitzing this guy and then basing the tackler. Like if it, if it had worked. <laughs> um, if it <laughs> worked, like this could have been a one D, right, and just push him to there. I really, maybe I should have just done a one D. And if I'd done the one D push him, then I'm tagging the tackler, and then well, I, mean, I can just run you through. Could have even just not even blitz the troll slayer, and then just and tag then, the troll But then I slayer. dodge, then I dodge, and then I one in thirty six and lose. Well, yeah, but then like then you could have blitzed the wrestler and then dodged back out towards the ogre. I don't have all these players, though. I need all the players to do all yeah. this. Yeah, it's really hard. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was re I had no fucking players. That that was the was that was the problem. I had just no players. It was so hard. But yeah, I would have just potato basically. It was so hard, but potato when he's got two turns to get you is still looking for a loss. I think. It was rough. I, I wanted to get away with the screen. I, my way, if it worked, I'd get away with the screen. I'd get away with yeah. the screen and the tackler tagged. So, um, so I think it's it's way better. Be again, because 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 Trick, then it's I'm further behind. Like I've got to get forward. I have to get forward. That's the problem. I have to get forward. That, like it's it's so hard and I've got to rush with a ball carrier because I don't want to fucking hand it off and stuff and then be another player down because I've already got no players so I have to keep I feel like I have to keep it on the ball carrier and then just double rush with him and then hand off so I have, I'm making four rushes and a hand off right I'm double rushing with the guy ahead of him double rushing with the ball carrier handing off and then the witch is making a screen it was just it was like what I, that's what I felt I had to do because it was so absolutely horrible having no players so that's why I didn't really want to start it all with a 1D because I'm that much more likely to use a reroll and if I use a reroll it's terrible but I could have gone the, the, the I could have gone the troll slay away but that was just a lot more potato -y, like a lot more potato -y with no players and uh, he just runs back and maybe gets me maybe maybe it doesn't uh, but I don't think I could have screened the turn after is the problem um, yes, the flying hobbit was so super annoying, <laughs> super fucking annoying. What a joke! Anyway, right, I've got to end the YouTube. Thank you. Anyway, Dimmy. Okay. And, and, okay. And now, me. now we can leave. Now we can leave. Yeah. I hope in 200 million years, <laughs> the people from NXC four six two two. Sorry, that's how we call you. We don't know how you call yourself. <laughs> Probably not like that. Probably not like that. <laughs> but this is it. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Dimi and Fymir. And yeah, you know, sorry I was a bit salty, but you know that is what it is. I'll do, I'll do a replay cast of it later for the the official cast where I will be maybe <laughs> more polite, critical of myself. The polite one, the polite but, one. 
Oh okay. gosh, what a surprise! Yeah, I, I don't really feel like I played bad. I really don't. Like, yes, okay, there was some turns where I could have done something differently, but I mean, I was thinking of the, you know, what I had to do and stuff. It wasn't just like idiot, idiotically choosing the wrong thing, right? I was like, I was thinking, I have to get forward here, or I have to do this, or it just, I just got banged out, and that happens sometimes, doesn't it? I mean, I think Kellathorn played well. Uh, you know, unlucky that somebody was, you know, took chose all world alliance and then played well, but never mind, that happened. <laughs> Diced again, <laughs> and then uh, and then like got fucking nine removals. Insane. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.